Hey everybody, welcome back. This is part two of the home surveillance video that I made uh, about a week ago. I got some really good stuff to show you. You see up here I got two cameras side by side. And I'm going to show you the difference in them. And before I show you how to put this hard drive in, I like to do the fun stuff like putting a rotor on the camera. And then uh, using the factory camera and comparing the factory camera against a, a high dollar camera. I got the top off of it and here's the hard drive I bought and it's 500 gigabyte and I've done looked at these connections and and they will only go on one way so you had not got to worry and but I'm pretty sure that they all like that and uh and it won't fit but one way And I'll screw that down and then put the lid back on it. And I was going to show you something here. Uh, see this right here? This is the battery. I'm pretty sure with it unplugged, you could pull this out and it'll reset everything. All right, don't laugh about this. Uh, this is very temporary. But since I can't decide where I'm going to put the antenna, the rotor, I'm going to put it on this temporary pole right here. And, see, I just can't decide where I want to put it, so I'm going to fix it where I can move it around. And then I'll attach uh, one of the cameras to this right here somehow. But I figure, like, uh, once I finally get it the way I want it, I'll put this part right here up in the box. And, and just have this, like, hanging down upside down. Okay, this road right here, it comes with three wires. And it's marked one, two, three. And then the controller, it's the same way. And uh, it's marked one, two, and three. And you put them in the same order on both. I guess you can tell which one of them is the uh, add-on camera. It's about twice as big as this factory camera there, here that's on top. All right, here's the temporary setup I got. Got it on this pole right here at the corner of the house. Alright, I'm always doing stuff. You might want to subscribe. Here's my two cameras. You see one of them there is a big camera. And one of them's a little. I got it on an antenna rotor. And I've got it right here temporary. You'll see at the end of the video. I'll, I'll, I'll show you what it looks like installed. But uh, this thing turns around. And uh, well, what am I going to show you? You know, at night when the dogs is barking, you you can't tell what's going on out here. And and you take this camera right here and turn it around, and uh, it can see in the dark pretty good. It's kind of unbelievable. But uh, this thing will swing all the way around to the front porch. It, it should stop there in a second. And, and then it'll swing all the way back down to the other back porch there. And... And this thing's pretty nice. And i kind of been aggravated with it, but I went through all the trouble, you know, to make the video. Here's my rotor. I think it costs about $70. Now, you won't see as plain of a picture as I do. It's that copy of a copy of a copy thing. When I put this hard drive in, I didn't have to do nothing. It formatted itself. And after I configured the Internet, there was an update uh and it done and installed the update on it. As far as configuring the internet, it's way too much for me to try to explain to you. It took me about an hour to do that. Okay, here's the rotor. I'll show that to you. And it's a real cloudy day outside. That's why you're not seeing a bright picture. Now, can you tell this tree is closer up than this tree right here? I can show you another circumstance about that. And if you look right here on the front porch, I got a hummingbird feeder there. So I can sit, I sit in here and watch that hummingbird feeder. See, 
see one of my trucks there. It see this is closer up than this one. This is that add-on camera. See how see how much closer this bush is than this. I got three dogs and they lay right out here at night. And if you didn't have that night vision, you can't tell where them dogs are. But they pretty much hang around right here all night, which is a good thing. This is the front porch. And there's that hummingbird feeder. I'm going to show you the night vision next. This here's the back porch. And I'm fitting to get out there and uh, take that pole down and put that rotor up in the box and so I can show you that finished. If you're even thinking about buying the system, I don't know how they could make it any cheaper than what than what they're making it now. Okay, here's a demonstration of the camera at night. I'll turn it around. And I mean, it's good and dark because it's cloudy too. It's going around toward the front porch. And see, this is pointed toward my driveway. And this is mainly what I wanted this thing for. The recording's nice and all that. But I mainly wanted it like for so I could see who was coming and going at my house. I'm going to turn it on around. There's both the truck, uh, one, one truck, and there's the cars, and y'all, it's dark right there, and I mean it's pitch black dark. Now we're shooting around at the back of the house. The, this right here is this right here. All right, I got something else I want to show you here. Look at the front porch and the back porch. I've got 60 watt light bulbs in there, and look what a difference it made. And it's the 60 watt CFLs. And here's the front porch. I reckon you can see this is the light right here. And this right here is the back porch. All right, look at that. We got a thief pulling up the yard. Man, this is just like on TV, ain't it? All right, here comes the thief. There goes the thief going up the steps, and then now they're coming to enter the house. Oh, the thief is my wife. <laughs> All right, I got my son over here to help me out. See this plywood we put around it to, so so I can screw it up. All right, fit the cover up. It is finished up, y'all. This is one job I'm glad to be done with. Alright, here it is finished. I'm gonna make one more video. I'm gonna have to buy another DVR. Being this thing runs off of 12 volts, I got some interesting stuff I'm gonna do. I'm one of them kind that I do all kind of stuff. That's all I do. Here's the wall where I tore it out and run the wires behind the wall. If you seen that in the first video, see this shift, how it looks like it's just made for this wall? Well, I made this shift from scratch, and I'm going to show it to you on fast motion on the way out. Kind of be looking out for number three. This right here was a pretty good bit of work for me, filming it and doing all the work. But if you like this video, 
click like and let YouTube know that you like.